I'd like to uh, introduce Sam. Sam, I'm not sure it is. What What is it that you do? <laughs> Just um, <kidding>. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Not a lot of people know. The Blind Life is uh, the uh, uh, a channel on YouTube um, that uh, d takes in all sorts. I mean, now it's growing beyond what it started as was a product review company or a person living with low vision blindness, legal blindness, Stargardt's disease, juvenile macular degeneration, who said, I want to start reviewing these things and build videos on that. Now, Sam, has it grown from... The uh, how many years ago did you launch your first video? So my first video was December of 2013. And uh, it, it was very slow at the beginning, obviously, because, you know, low vision viewers on YouTube, it's not a very big market. But um, it's grown. And I actually just last week uh, or earlier this week hit 50,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Pretty happy about that. <laughs> uh, we got another unmuter out there. <laughs> 50,000 and yep. and and that ranges from people living with low vision blindness, teachers, parents, families and the whole gamut of uh, subscribers, right? Yeah, and I'm I'm cuz I'm very proud of that number because I only make videos for the blind community. Uh you know, there are other VIP YouTubers out there who have larger numbers, but they're making videos like, you know, uh you know, put my makeup on this morning and, um, you know, uh, what's in my fridge. I mean, they're making videos for everybody and, um, fashion stuff and gaming and all that. And mine is strictly for the community. I only make videos for the community. So it's mainly people living with vision loss, um, professionals working with vision loss clients, and then, uh, loved ones, family members, that sort of thing. And, and and then another thing that for the month of December, we're going to get in and talk about some tech because it's all around me right now. I brought all sorts of toys out. <laughs> Same I call here. Them I call them toys. But what yeah. I, you also you also decided in the month of December that you wanted to do a whole series on working while blind. Right. Yeah, it's actually perfect timing here because um, – I, I'm sure you guys get the question all the time. I've gotten the question over so many years, people asking what kind of jobs can blind people do? And it usually also follow, is kind of goes hand in hand with what kind of um, classes can blind people take in college? And the same answer basically I always give is whatever you want to do. You know, it's like, it's actually easier for me to tell you what you can't do rather than what you can do because you can do whatever you want to. What, what, what are your skills? What are your interests? Okay, well, let's get into that. And then we will find a way to make, to adapt the job to work with your needs. So uh, I got tired of answering that question so many times that I decided to, all of December, I'm putting out interviews with amazing VIPs. Most of them are amazing. Some are a little, you know, I don't know. Uh, you'll see one of Charlie's videos coming up soon. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but talking with people who are working and successfully working to get some inspiration for those, for my audience to see what is possible. Now, real quick, side note, Charlie is such a talker. I'm sure you guys already realized this. I edited all the stuff that I thought wasn't necessarily that important to the video, edited everything down, and it was still a 37 minute video. <laughs> I'm stunned, Sam. Yeah, I am shocker, stunned. Shocker, right? Shocker. <laughs> like, yeah. Quiet Christian, Christmas medley. <laughs> Christmas so medley. I, so I'm actually going to have to split that into two videos because no one's going to sit there for 37 minutes listening to both of us talk. It was very entertaining, though, I will say. Well, you know what gonna... he's going to do now, Sam? You know Charlie's going to see those two videos and see which one gets more views, and he's going to be crazy about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Sam, you said no one's going to listen to us for 37 minutes. Well, they are now. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It's because Kristen's here. <laughs> <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> all right so this is amazing and and i i loved i loved that, that when we got to meet i when i first started hanging out with you i said that's what i look like <laughs> and i don't mean walking you know, around yeah lack of hair and beard uh i mean <laughs> the way you pulled out your phone and used a magnifier the way you reach for things the way you use contrast the way you built your environment for success i was like Oh, it's so good to see it, 
you know, because I only see me doing it and I don't really yeah. see me doing it. Then I saw you doing it, especially when you stayed at my house. And then you yelled at me and said, why don't you have bump dots on your microwave? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing, man? Come on, get with it. <laughs> That's uh, so awesome. It's really cool. It's a, there's a couple of really key principles before we move. First of all, Sam, you are a videographer, a master editor. You wow. have made products that are okay. And I don't mean okay. The marketing of the company is okay. And you've put them through your paces and brought them to life. And and I'm blown away at the, to watch you from just a few years ago at 17,000 subscribers, how your skill sets and what you've done and how you've done it to bring more really uh, attention grabbing so I get to see the quality and what this product can possibly do for me in my life. And you're legally blind. You're operating cameras, lighting, you're editing, you're going out and seeking new customers, new business, your help. I mean, it, it's a testament to what is possible. Like you said, I don't know what you should do. Do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you guys talked about it. I heard you talking about it as I jumped in. It's all about determination. It's all about um, having that, that positive uh, mindset to why can't I do any of this stuff? You know, it, this needs to be done. It doesn't matter that I have this limitation. It needs to be done. So let's figure out a way to get it done. And um you know, I, I've been a, an AT trainer for uh, going on six years now, seven years now. I've been an AT user since I was in middle school. Uh, so I love technology. I had a technology channel before I started The Blind Life, um, talking about cell phones, smartphones and things. I love technology. I love sharing with people out there what is possible with technology. And um, I'm very fortunate. I actually, yesterday was my first... Uh, working blind interview video that got posted and it was, I interviewed myself. And <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I uh, I talked about is that it's, it's a little bit selfishness too, because I love technology so much that I love when companies send me this stuff and I get to play with it and get, you know, and Charlie, I know you're the same way. We, we like to tinker. And so to get in there and figure out how it works and all of that. And I love sharing that excitement with everybody. Mm. <laughs> Cha -ching. I'm, still, I'm still laughing over your first interview was of yourself <laughs> i had to i had to start it off good or start start it off strong i couldn't yeah, put charlie out there first, up first. <laughs> yeah, no that would have scared everybody away <laughs> all right i know you guys have you are are ready to dive into all of the stuff that is is surrounding your desk what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna there's some back end stuff that i have to do where people need links and stuff like that i'm gonna i'm gonna come off the screen and let you guys have the <laughs> charlie and sam show okay. <laughs> and then i'll come back in thank you thank you sam so yes. there is no there is no one product there is no secret sauce there is no there is no um pair of glasses there is there isn't one thing mm -hmm. right that will solve all our problems right and then it, it makes things easier when people realize that and also realize you know i work a lot with uh senior citizens losing vision later in life and they've been visually they've been fully sighted their whole lives and now they've lost some and i tell people first thing you have to realize is there's nothing out there that can replace your eyes can can do the things that your eyes used to do um, we can do our best and kind of, like you said, gather our tools, put into our tool belt, but nothing's going to be as good as they were. So once you kind of accept that, it helps because a lot of people get disappointed. Well, this doesn't work. I can't see this as well as I used to. And you never will. Unfortunately, we're trying to get to where it's, it's good enough, I guess you could say. And, and, and as Bob said, uh, the gold giver, he said that you need to accept that. It doesn't mean you need to like it, but acceptance right. will help you move forward. Oh yeah, none of us like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but do you have a go-to like, so we have so like, so let me just explain to you guys, there's optical products. Optical means 
they're magnifiers, magnification. The optical is, it could be from a one point something power, 1.5 to two, all the way up to so big, so much power that it's almost impossible to use. So that's, once we get it grow out of the optical, we maybe move over to electronic. That could be desktop CCTVs, portable CCTVs. What is a CCTV? For those of you who might not know, it's a camera system that takes printed, uh, it could be anything on a tray or in an area that you are now pushing up on a screen. You get to manipulate it, magnify it. You get to change contrast and, and work with it so you can get the best sight. But Sam said something so, so crystal clear <laughs> that is that I laugh because you're magnifying macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, glauc you're magnifying low vision. So that means you're going to see it better but it's not going to turn it to 4K, which yeah. is a crystal clear way of seeing the way it might have been if you progressively have gotten worse over the years like I have. So that's a critical component. I had a TV magnifier in my business and the people would say, well, I can see it better, but it's still not clear. I said, I don't offer new eyes here. <laughs> Just <laughs> assistive, adaptive technology to help maximize your remaining vision right yeah yeah if you it you can make it as big as you want but like for you and i that blind spot's still going to be there it's not going away so you still have to work around that but making it bigger does help so what is your go-to optical magnifier hold that up to the screen you're gonna hold yours yep <laughs> <laughs> yep so this is uh, our, we both kind of landed on the Eschenbach. Um, did you have this before we met or? or... Oh, I had this, yeah, many okay. years ago. It's, I it's started crazy. out with a seven and then I got mad at Eschenbach because the seven didn't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bizarre that we both just organically landed on this same device, uh, but it's just a little pocket uh, Eschenbach magnifier. I think it's called Mobile, mobile, mobile Lint or something mobile like Lux. that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, no, you're right, yep. Yeah, and it's you can have a, a non-illuminated or an illuminated version. I think it's, yeah, 7, 10, 12 maybe, or 5, 7, 10, something like that, magnification. That's my main thing. That is always within reach. I have several spread throughout my life, one in the car, you know, um, one in my desk, one that I carry around with me all the time. Her nickname is Maggie. I call her Maggie. And anytime I, I'm like wandering around the house like a zombie, my family's like, what's going on? I was like, I, I can't find Maggie. Have you guys seen Maggie? <laughs> and you can't and you can't put a tile on it like Siri, find Maggie. <laughs> For real. I should. Well, that's that's we need to talk to Eschenbach. They need to incorporate that. So but but you said there's a whole spectrum of optical magnification. So wherever you are on the journey. That you might find something that is very accessible in your pocket, in a cabinet, in the kitchen. You kind of adapt and you you maximize your environment. Now, I also, let's say magnification also, like you said, comes, I'm turning on a light on one. This is a handheld one. This one is 12.5X. What happens when these things get more powerful as they get thicker and they curve more. And because of that curve, you it, it, from a diopter is a very important part of magnification. Right. As Sam's showing you, <laughs> I saw that out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> is that he's showing that the distance closes up and they become harder and harder to use. Plus you lose a lot of field. Yeah. So welcome to the world of electronic magnifiers. Sam, do you have anything nearby you could hold up? So I've got just a little five inch digital video magnifier. Um, this is the True Zoom uh, brought to you by Palmer Vision out of Georgia. Uh, this is a, I'll do air quotes for an affordable five inch because it's, I think, about $5.99 right around there, which. Oh, so not, under $6. That's easy. Yeah. Yeah. You can pick up several, <laughs> which. Under six hundred dollars, sub six hundred dollars is actually uh, an affordable option for this size of a device, unless you buy used. But with electronic magnification, then you get the option to zoom and change the magnification. So as your vision loss progresses, knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't. But if it's like us, it will. 
uh, and you need stronger magnification, then an electronic magnifier will grow with you because uh, you can just bump up the size a little bit more. But the same thing, you're kind of limited on screen size, field of view. So there's different options. This is a five inch. You can do a three inch, you can five inch, seven inch, 12, all the way up to the full desktop digital video magnifiers. Well, Sam, people are carrying around those massive iPads. Yes, I have a massive iPad right here. This is the 12 inch iPad Pro. I heard somebody mention that they have this, this beauty. Uh, they're, a, they're another lucky one to have the big iPad Pro. Um, <laughs> and here is go. a uh, a traveler. <clears throat> Excuse me. This device is is a magnification device that glides across your print, and and and, and it's a twelve inch screen. So, and but it isn't the most portable. Right. So I guess it's you know again there isn't one. It, I'm holding up a five inch. I think this is a ruby. Yep. But they all call them different names. The bottom <laughs> of the line, the bottom line is they have a camera. They have a lighting source built in. An optical one, Sam and I, the one we use all the time, doesn't have a lighting source, so we got to find the lighting. Uh, it only goes 10x, so and we could pull away and stretch that out to 11 or so. But that's it. We're fixed. We only have a certain area we can see. With the electronics, you can get get a bigger field of view, but not as big as you think. Yeah. <laughs> until you start playing with it. Um, <clears throat> you have different, I can see white print on a black background. I can't change anything with my magnifier. Whatever I'm looking at is what it represents. But with an electronic one, I can say, I don't like this print. I'm going to change it. Oh, now I can see it better. Because Sam, I know you would agree with me. Contrast is king. Contrast is king. And so they, they add in a ton of those color filters because everybody's different. I prefer inverted. So uh, turning a regular document, it inverts it. So it's white text on a black background, <laughs> but they have uh, yellow on black, black on yellow. Some of these even have crazy colors like pinks and reds and greens yeah. because you never know. You never know what's going to work the best for a person. So it's nice that they add all those features in and kind of going along with that, you can get extra features on electronic magnifiers like distance viewing, uh, OCR, optical character recognition. So that's another benefit of going electronic. And 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 one of the, another thing that I forget because I require a lot of it is lighting. If you, and not lighting is brightness. If the brightness you have a sensitivity to it, no problem on these mag these the devices. You can lower that so it's not as harsh of a blue light coming at your eyes, and it's easier for you to read. Yeah, yeah. Now one thing we should mention with uh, these things. Are not cheap um you know they're fantastic they're great tools but budget should always be a concern you can get away with just using a smartphone to do this basically the same thing there are apps some are paid there's a ton of free apps that will do all the same things that this uh standalone video magnifier will do the problem though is that what i always tell people is this True Zoom video magnifier was built specifically for this task. So it's the only thing it does. Your phone is great, but it's made to do a lot of different things pretty well, but it doesn't do any one thing perfectly. So you're going to run into some limitations just using a free app. Uh, there's going to be some awkwardness. You know, this one has a handle and it has a little stand that puts it out, puts it at a 45 degree angle for reading. Your phone doesn't have any of that. You might need to look at finding an accessory like a stand or something like that. So yes, you can use these, uh, especially in a pinch or if you're traveling, something like that. But if you have the means, I always recommend getting a um, dedicated machine. And, and I think the phones today, the number one thing is cameras, is what they care about. And it's photography yeah. and video. It's not magnification contrast. And and my my biggest irk with using those devices, as soon as I start moving it, it goes. It, go, it goes out of focus. It, uh, yeah. I just can't maintain a quality image. But when I take a portable, it's dedicated. Its focus is maintaining that good image. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's just it's built for that, so it does it really well. So, if we go, you you mentioned back in the day when I got into the industry and learned about it. Even though prior to that, there was a gentleman called Ray Kurzweil. So we had we had 
blind people and low vision wasn't nearly as big and nor were the resources, time and effort to go into build things around that category as much so as what can we do for the blind? Braille was massive. Braille, Braille devices, Perkins Braille or Slayton Stylus. And then this man, Ray Kurzweil, he came out with, you know, the dryer you put your clothes in? Well, he came <laughs> out with a scan and read and Sean, uh, Sean. Hi, hi, Sean. Sam mentioned <laughs> earlier, he called it OCR, optical character recognition. So something is taking an optical image of a character, which is printed material, and it's recognizing it, and then it's converting it into synthesized speech. Mind blowing back when Ray Kurzweil came out with this. The machine was as big as your dryer. You would open this big lid and put your book on it and close it. You would hit a button, you could go have a cigarette. <laughs> you <laughs> Basically, you could almost dry a load of clothes, but it would go across, it would come back, and then it would chink, 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 and then about 50% accuracy, it would read the document back to you, and you would celebrate. Yeah. Because it because I, <clears throat> back then, blind people were not getting access to print that well. There was no JAWS, there was no internet. There was nothing. So now let's fast forward a few years, Sam. Sam, that, that device was amazing. And each year it got better. And it was $50,000 to buy that <laughs> back then. Let me just whip out my American Express for a new dryer. <laughs> and But now, how big are these things? As big as your finger that can do in lightning speed almost as fast as you take a picture or look at print it's reading it back to you isn't that the case yeah i've got this one here i don't know if you guys can see it it's so small um let me put my hand in front of it it's about yeah, the thank you yeah about the size of a flash drive <clears throat> this is the orcam my eye uh you also have the orcam read which is about the size of a, a black magic marker and this little thing does that and a whole bunch more and it's, yeah, like I said, the size of a flash drive or a lipstick container. And it does it super fast, super accurate. And it can also recognize faces. It can recognize colors. It can tell you if you um, uh, recognize products, all kinds of things. Money. Money, your scene. It can tell you where you are, all of that. And that's a little device that can clip onto existing glasses or be handheld. Correct. And so I'll show you. So you put your glasses on your glasses. You can put on a little uh, bracket onto your glasses and it can go on either side. It can go on whatever glasses you want. And then you just it magnetically attaches to the glasses. And uh, it's touch activated here or gesture based. So I can point at text and it will take a picture. It'll see me pointing at that text. It'll take a picture, process it super quick and start reading it back to me. <laughs> it's uh, in my business that I sold in 2016, Sam, people would come in the store and devastated and, 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 and I would dump this out right away, but I would pretty much put my hand on their shoulder and say, you couldn't have asked for a better time to go blind. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, and I don't mean it, to, you know, I'm very sensitive to it. I know what it's like to suffer and to, to, to be horrified that I'm not going to, but I also know that there is no excuse to access information, to succeed without sight, to live the life of your dreams. There is a tool, there is a technique, and there is somebody else who can help mentor you and guide you on your journey to the life that you were meant to live. Don't you think so? Yeah, absolutely. I, I've, I've done presentations before where my opening slide says that very same thing it's this is the best time in history to be living with vision loss i mean on that slide i have a picture of like little house on the prairie times you know horse and buggy uh, horse and wagon i mean can you imagine living back then when you know your your nearest neighbor was a couple miles away you had to hitch up the horse and wagon once a week to go into town to get supplies i couldn't imagine have being visually impaired back then right now is truly the best and it just continues to get better especially because i've never heard of guide horses just guide dogs <laughs> well apparently there in in england there is a guide pony oh okay yeah so i'm gonna just go, i'm gonna rifle through some products that i i brought out so 
there are glasses, right? People come in my store and say, I hope that you're going to be able to give me a pair of glasses. I said, yeah, but the glasses you're looking for are corrective prescription glasses that are going to convert your eyesight back to what it was. Those don't exist. So I'm sorry to bring that to your attention. And, you know, so, but I do have glasses, but they're just magnifiers mounted in glasses. So right. here's a pair of glasses. These things have, if you can see on here, I'm holding up, they have a monocular. What is a monocular? It's one side of a binocular. <laughs> and, <laughs> and what this does is when I put it on, it gives me excellent visibility of things in the distance. And it's extremely restrictive because if I move a little, I lose the object. Do I focus on the frustrations? No. I learn how to use this to maximize what I'm looking to do. But this tool doesn't get used all the time. It gets put off to the side and gets used sometimes. Now I have another pair of glasses here. These glasses have built into them a magnifier. And that's a 10 times magnifier built right in. And I can now read without holding a magnifier. I use these, they're on my desk and I use them. Not all the time, but sometimes. Then I have a, I have a monocular. This is, ho, oh, there's my camera. <laughs> oh, let's not even go there. We're not talking about cameras on this call. <laughs> no. But this is a day. monocular, right, Sam? Something that, I think when my eyes were better, I got much better use out of these because I require high power now. Very hard to get locked in on my thing, but doesn't mean it is. I love what you say in your video, Sam. Is this product for me? No, but please understand that doesn't mean that is for you. That the, what I'm saying is meant for you in your life. You must go put your hands on this. Try this out, get a local rep to come to you, but figure out a way to try this out and see if it meets your needs and helps you solve the problem you're facing in your life, right? Yeah, because my, I'm the same way. When I was younger, monoculars work great. I used them when I was in school a lot. Uh, but as the vision loss progresses, it just, it, for me, it doesn't let enough light in the, the lens is so small that if you're in a, um, indoor environment, you, I put that up and I, it's just dark for me, but, uh, it works sometimes outside though. And now you, you so what you're saying is that, that they have a small sensor or you don't have a full frame sensor in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. My, once again, my eyes aren't working the way they should. <laughs> That's right. They don't. Now I just put on a pair of cheaters. And uh, yeah, I know, but, but why do I like these? Cause I still like to write and I write a lot on Sam. I'm holding up dark line pad. So yep. I like to write with a dark pen, but sometimes I can't read what I wrote. <laughs> so I put on just a little bit of enhance. These are cheaters. I use these on the computer screen sometimes and I use them when I'm re reading things I wrote. So I don't get myself, what, what Sam and I are trying to do is reduce frustration in life. What is the, one of the biggest three areas of our lives? Lighting, which enhances and, and changes contrast. Would you agree with that? Yep. Magnification. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then it's, it's in screen access, which we're going to get into before we end. This is how we get, what time do you need to boogie? Uh, just before one o'clock. Okay, thank you. Now, here's a big, big, big one, Sam, that I know that you and I walking outside without these bad boys on, I can't get the, is deadly. I just put on my shades. Yeah, those are some shades. <laughs> thank you. I cannot see too well now. No, I'm just yes. kidding. So these yeah. things take 100% of that harsh UV on a cloudy day, on a rainy day, and on a sunny day. Um, I wear these mm -hmm. always because less tension in the eyes, just an, a better experience. Do you wear sunglasses? I do. I do. I So I inside inside i love lighting i need lots of light task lighting i think we're going to talk about that next yeah but lighting helps tremendously inside but as soon as i go outside on a bright sunny day the glare is just too much it's overwhelming i'm slightly photophobic when it comes to that so yes i always have sunglasses i've got some right by the back door to grab on the way out i've got a pair in their car once again spread throughout my life so that i'm never 
in a situation where I don't have a solution for that. And can we just talk about <clears throat> something that I th I know I've been to your house. I've seen your, your, the way it's organized. It when we lose Maggie, now I got to name mine. That's uh, oh, a yeah, absolutely. Name. You can't name her but, Maggie though. No. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all right, Megan. But anyway, <laughs> when, when, when you're looking for that, are you in a good mood? No, no, not at all. Because it's, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like, that's when it all comes crashing back down of yeah. the, my, my limitations. You know, I don't think about my blindness throughout the day. It's, yeah. I don't think about it because I'm just doing my thing. I'm getting my stuff done. Um, I'm building everything up. I'm not thinking about that kind of stuff, but it's when I don't have that tool uh, within reach that it's that's when the frustration comes back. That's when the negative thoughts come back, and it's like, oh, God, I hate being blind. Oh, yeah. So you know, I I try to mitigate that by having these things around. And I just wanted to bring attention to that because I am the exact same way. <laughs> my sunglasses go back in the same spot. My ma I have magnifiers in each office and, and next to my bed. I because there's nothing. I went. Uh, I was leaving on a business trip, and I, <clears throat> I rushed. And I normally don't. I always mm -hmm. leave time. I plan. I do things, so I don't trigger that. Blindness sucks. <laughs> right. I don't need to trigger that, you know? So, and I'm just like you. I go through the day. I hardly ever, I forget I have a vision impairment. Sometimes somebody reminds me, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I got all the way up to the airport and I walked up and I reached in my pocket. And my heart almost fell oh, to yeah. the ground. I didn't have Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have that. I had an electronic magnifier in my bag. I had my cane in my bag. I had the right pens. I had sunglasses, but I didn't have that. And I panicked mm -hmm. and, and my flight was delayed. I called my wife. Can you possibly <laughs> drive this? She drove an hour to the airport, pulled up. I ran out and I had never, this is what confidence you put the right tools, align them with yourself. It'll, you, you, it'll remove the thought that I can't, or something is the barrier outside of my thinking, which it never is. And it'll allow you to effortlessly go through that day and live life. Yeah. That's very funny. I, I, I know that feeling very well. I, I feel like I tell people, I feel like I've left one of my legs at home <laughs> when I realized the magnifier is not there. Like, oh, no, wait, we got to go back. Like, no, we're six hours away from home. I don't care. We got to go back. <laughs> nope. yeah, it's like I get to the airport. Oh, we forgot our daughter. Oh, I got my magnifier. <laughs> yeah, it'll be all right. She'll be okay. <laughs> so so let me just um, let me just touch on a few other things. Now, these things. These are hunkers. These are, these are in each of these eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the future with those things. No, I can't because they weigh 14 pounds. <laughs> these are 10x or 11 or so X magnifiers that enable me to take printed material and <laughs> do this. Yeah. And if you like doing this and you, and that's okay and you love it, that's great. This could be the right product that solves but you, 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 you know, first of all, there's so many incredibly informative training videos that Sam does that really give you the, like, I really want to put more time in to learn about this product. I want to put my hands on it that you will be able to find on the blind life. It's just, I, I mean, I go there and I'm a tech junkie. I love this stuff, but I love to see what's coming, what's possible with AI, the things that are coming to change our lives? Absolutely. But Sam, you mentioned something critical. All this stuff is great. But you said that, that maybe it's just a phone. Maybe the $1,500, $2,500, $3,500, $5,000 <clears> that it costs to get to where you want to get with adaptive technology <clears throat> is outside your reach. But you can use Microsoft AI on your phone. It'll scan for free. It'll tell you what's in a room. It'll do fit. It does those things the OrCam does. Is it mm -hmm. built? Well, actually, it is kind of built for that. <laughs> <laughs> so there are ways 
to get in this without breaking the bank, right? Yeah, absolutely. And both uh, iPhones and Android both have great apps. Um, a lot of them are free. You, there are some paid ones out there, but even those aren't too bad. Maybe like $5 a year kind of paid. Uh, but yeah, Seeing AI is the one for iPhone. Um, it's made by Microsoft. That's the one you're talking about. Yes. Then there's also uh, Google has Google Lookout on Android. Uh, there's Envision AI. There's SuperSense. There's something called AudiVision on Android. There's So there's several different apps that you can kind of plug in and, and use. Like I said, I, I use these a lot when I'm traveling. Yeah. Things that I, you know, I don't, maybe I don't want to carry my big tabletop CCTV, you know, uh, so I just use the phone because it's right there. I always have it and it works pretty well. And, 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 and I just, so people are aware, tabletop CT CCTVs are fixed. They're heavy. They sit in one location. You, yeah, they're big. you bring your material. Oh, uh, it's my dog saying hello. <laughs> you bring your material to them, right? But Sam, you and I both well know that they make tabletops that fold into a little little package. And yep. not only that, instead of just pointing my camera down at my material, I can grab hold of that, move it up, and now I'm seeing inside the classroom, inside the boardroom, inside the conference maybe, and I wanted to view things in the distance, watch a PowerPoint, see some people, and then I rotate that camera back down, I'm back at my work for, my work uh, place, right at my uh, hands. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, battery yeah. operated. Yeah, rechargeable. That that seems to be the trend that these devices are going towards is smaller, portable, foldable. Um, I did a review of something called the Cloverbook Pro, which actually it's kind of like a tablet on a stand that folds down. It's got a little camera that pops up for distance. You can rotate the camera around for mirror view. You can point it down if you want a secondary camera looking at your, your documents. Mm -hmm. But then it also comes with a secondary screen that clicks into the top so you can have two screens, one utilizing the camera pointing in the distance, looking at the blackboard, for example, or the smart board like they have these days, and then one looking down at your document so you can follow along, the student can follow along on their paperwork, um, just all kinds of options these days. I mean, we got Low Vision International creating the Zip and the and and the tablets, and I, I mean, and then you have the Clover series, and then you have, I mean, it's just, it's awesome, actually. I love the competition because it makes the products better and it drives the prices down, and we win. Oh yeah, yeah. I just did a video on the new MagnaLink tab recently. It's using the latest Surface Pro uh, computer system, so you get a full fully working, fully functional Windows computer inside of your magnification aid, your video magnifier. And um, so pretty much anything a student would need, anything a business professional would need, you got it right there. And and for those of you thinking, oh my gosh, operating systems, several cameras and foldable batteries and updates and technology and training and voiceovers and speech, and it's okay because <laughs> I didn't know any of that at one time but over the years i improved my skill sets because i was determined to understand and to never leave myself out in the cold and get mad it's feeling sorry for myself something didn't work and sam i mean and sam's videos helped me learn yeah. about things that oh i didn't know that <laughs> you know and and that's what this is all about so now but can is there low tech medium tech and high tech right what what's what are some low tech things that make big impacts well i mean you've showed up several already um <clears throat> i really want to touch again on the lighting lighting is the easiest way you got yours i got mine lighting <laughs> is the easiest way to solve a lot of these low vision problems yes. um and getting good lighting on the task that you're trying to do is is really the key um we both have the stella this is the stella go it's a rechargeable um it charges wirelessly you just set it on the base and it will charge but it's portable i carry mine everywhere in my house if i'm in the kitchen i'm cutting up vegetables i'll set it on the counter and point it right down at the cutting board if i'm cooking i'll set it on the counter next to the stove pointing down into the pot 
Um, I cleaned out my oven a couple weeks ago and I took the oven door off and I set this guy because it has this gooseneck, this adjustable gooseneck. I set it on the floor and pointed it right into the oven so I could get some good light into the oven. Uh, this particular bot model is tri-colored. So you have three, you have a warm light, a cool bluish light, and then a daylight balance light. I think it has like 10 different light uh, amounts or, or strengths. So even if it's not this guy, get some good lighting that you can spread throughout your house or your life, really. Yeah, and this is battery. So this, I, you just you don't have to plug it in. And, and Sam said the base, not only is the base wireless, but you could throw your phone on there. You could throw any of your yeah. devices that are wirelessly, like one of my magnifiers, this magnifier, actually charges wirelessly i never i just drop it on the stella base stella is the name of the company they have a, a one uh, floor lamp that goes up like seven feet mm -hmm. it's totally telescopic and changing they have plug-in models they have a model <clears throat> i have all over my house i don't <laughs> just carry this but i also do use this like you said i was I shot a video for down in the shed because I needed to do something. I, care. I walked down in the dark with this as my flashlight, placed it on the shelf, turned it into. I mean, it's so cool because I get. I you want to trigger my frustration? It's lighting does it dark places because I can't see in dark places. So <laughs> lighting is critical. Now I wanted to just show a couple other. There, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be a Stella light. It could be a flashlight like this. You just pull it up that gives you good light here's another thing this thing is awesome it's a, it's a head mount sam you're gonna love one of these oh i've got one buddy <laughs> I, well I, I, but check it out oh now, yeah i have a 360 so i have my peripheral vision this isn't a a beam it actually goes way out to each side so okay. when i'm opening cabinets and doing things now my hair's a mess <laughs> um <clears throat> in the house it, it, it opens the doors to, uh, of helping me see. And then, of course, I can do the back side of it. So for walking at night, this gets you outside at night. It's just amazing what – and this was 12 bucks. I can't shut it off. <laughs> Damn, do Charlie, a video on this, would you? <laughs> Charlie, you got about six more minutes to nerd out. <laughs> oh, we're not nerding, dude. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll mention something here about lighting. Um, I've got a little video light because I do video stuff, but this little video light is um, RGB, which means that you can change the different colors. You can go red, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, whatever you want. And sometimes, as we mentioned with the CCTVs and the video magnifiers, they have different color filters. For you know, some people, sometimes RP people might see blue things better. Uh, you can use a an RGB light like this to get that color onto something and might be able to see it better. I don't know. You know, you never know. I, it's all about experimenting and find out what works the best for you. But a lot of times these little lights like these uh, are magnetic. Sometimes they have mounting holes. So I have uh, a couple little LED lights, little flashlights that are magnetic sitting on my refrigerator so I know right where they are. It goes back to that organization and knowing where the tools are when you need them. Anytime I need to go look in the pantry, read my super old thermostat, which I'm about to upgrade to a smart thermostat, uh, <laughs> I'll grab one of those little LED lights because, once again, lighting helps. Okay, and and I de I couldn't let this go. This is a battery pack, and this is look at that. Look at the front of that baby. If I turned it on, I would ha we would have more customers, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> but I am going to turn it and just kind of give you a little four thousand kelvins. I know, excuse me, four thousand lumens. lumens. It is so bright; it's unbel it's brighter than car headlights. Now that's why you have this big battery. I go out walking with the dog at night. I do all sorts of things in the dark uh, because this gives me such a peace of mind and confidence. I can see. I don't trip. It's amazing. Plus, trust me, everyone from this neighborhood and all the ones around me know when I'm coming with this bad boy on. The last thing I want to talk about with lighting, I heard you guys yeah. talking about canes. Well, I've got a light up cane here. Glows which is pretty awesome. So even, 
even things that you wouldn't expect to light up can light up and help you. And, and is that a Darth Vader cane? <laughs> it's a brand new cane prototype. It's not even on the market yet. It will be soon. So you'll probably see a video coming out sometime soon. Oh, you gave a sneak peek and you yeah, gave a, a little... sneak peek to some lighting that's coming down the road too. I so. didn't, yeah, I didn't sign any NDAs, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> it's okay. Just know that more awesome things from companies who are dedicated to building things to help low vision and blind people, not yeah. and everyone else. Yeah. You know, yeah. But as, also as, know, I'm sorry, Sam, but also know that <clears throat> smart homes, smart technologies, uh, Alexas and Googles, thermostats, lighting. You don't know how much better my life got when I adapted my house with all this stuff. Because yeah. I, I could say our heat has been on for 19 hours in the month of November. And then I can say, oh, I could turn that down. Oh, let me turn the light on over here. Let me send a broadcast message to my family. Let's play music on five things. Let's do this all by my voice. No more looking with the magnifier. No more struggle. It gets easier and easier. The more my mind stays open and the more I embrace what's out there in technology. Yeah. And this, some of these things you're mentioning, they don't have to be expensive. So no. check, go check them out. Kristen's back. That's why we know it's getting time. She's got her hook. <laughs> I got to tell you, I should have popped popcorn while I was sitting here watching you. It was like a show. It was, I was laughing so hard. And I realized I was on mute and I'm like, I'm like saying stuff back to you as I'm cracking up. Oh my gosh. That was so fun. You got to come see us at a convention when we've maybe had a couple of drinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sis. And maybe see son, we might be doing something together. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but so. let me tell you guys, it's the blind life on YouTube. We're gonna send out links. Uh, and and in Sam's videos, he also puts links how to get product, how to learn more. I mean, they're so well done and so well thought out. So we like this one, we're leaving you hanging, but we're not. We're gonna follow up. There's all sorts of ways to get your hands on these products to talk to the right people, to watch the videos on Sam's uh, YouTube channel. Sam, what about, what are you doing, if you don't mind end, end, telling us a quick little, what are you doing with your lovely wife? What's that video about? You do once a month, is it? Yeah, we do a, um, a video podcast once a month. We call it Talk Back with the Blind Life, and um, she helps. We, we gather frequently asked com questions and comments from the previous month's videos, and we go through and answer those in like a video podcast. It generally lasts about 45 minutes or so. And it's a lot of fun. Everybody has really warmed up to Rachel, which which makes me proud. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. And one thing I'll mention is I'm, I'm on everything, all the social medias, and but all the products I talk about, all the Amazon products I talk about on my channel, I also put into my Amazon shop. So it's, um, it's not really a shop. It's just kind of a place where I can kind of uh, get all of those links together in one place to make it easier for people to find the things I'm talking about in my videos. And you can find links to that in the video descriptions of my videos or on my website, theblindlife.net. Awesome. I'm adding that in the chat right now. Someone asked a question here. Um, what's the brand of the headlamp that lights peripherally as well as in front? <clears throat> I might have to get that and add it to my shop because I like that. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> Charlie's got some. No, I lost it. it. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I keep my office organized. I have stuff everywhere and it's making me nuts. Uh, <clears throat> let's just say, Kristen, take a note, please, that um, we'll make sure we put a link to where, <clears throat> um, where I got this. But I bought two pairs for. $18. I gave one to my, uh, my legally blind sister. <laughs> and I almost every time I go over there, she has it on. I'm like, do you know you? Ha oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful little product. I love it. Awesome. That was, that was uh, so fun. So, and I actually thought the same thing when Sam held up the light up cane, I was like, that looks like a lightsaber. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have a sword fight when next time we're together with those. 
All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much. I know you got to go hop to your community now that you uh, go and serve on Saturday. So thanks so much for coming in. This was super fun. My pleasure, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Charlie, always a pleasure, sir. Yes, Sam. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you for watching the Sam CV and Charlie Collins product review session at the 2022 Succeed Without Sight Summit.